going. You're all set. Okay, good afternoon, everyone. It's February 16th. Um, we are back to having regular meetings of the Anna Reynolds School Project Building Committee. It is about 5.20. Um, Lauren, could you take the roll call, please? Sure. Uh, Chairman Woods? Here. Councillor Camillo? Here. Um, Carol Dugan? Duggan? She's not with us today. Yeah, I didn't see her. Amy Prati? Here. Councillor Rada? Here. Jeremy Wetzel? Here. I also see online um, Jennifer from KBA, Eileen from CSG, Rich from Newfield Construction, Lou from uh, Newington Public Schools. Okay, and I think um, Dr. Fletcher is uh, absent too. I, I, I don't know, does anybody know if he's been sworn in yet? I know that he was I don't know. gonna take the position. I don't know if he's been sworn in or not. Amy, do you know by any chance? No, okay, I'll, I'll look into it for the next meeting then. Yeah, I did ask the clerk's office to let me know and they have not informed me yet, so. Okay, all right, thank you, Lauren. Yep. So the next item is public participation and it appears we have no one from the public. Um, take action on prior meeting minutes. We have one, which is I think February 1st or 2nd, when do we meet here? Second. February 2nd. If someone would like to make a motion to approve those minutes as written. Motion to approve the minutes. Well, thank you, Amy. And a second. Second, second by Mike. Um, any questions, comments, concerns? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Is there anyone opposed? Hearing none, um, motion passes unanimously. Jeremy, did we skip over you in attendance? Did, did they call your name? Oh, no. I I was, uh, I said here. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, take action on potential change order. Eileen or Lauren, or do we have any? Well, yes, we do. And I'll let Rich go through those. Oh, you're gonna have Rich do it? Okay. Yep. yep. I'll pull those up right now. Thanks. Thank you, Rich. I gotta get used to the new system now because Jeff did them before. Okay. Um, so, First one we have is PCO number 34. That's for uh, brick pier support excavation work that we did with the site work contractor on TNM to excavate for some uh, unshown footings that we had to add for some brick piers. Uh, the the uh, brick was already owned and the, the, the footing itself we had covered in a previous PCO. So this was just the excavation portion of that. PCO number 53 is for an ASI 4. Uh, this is the electrical portion of that ASI. We had previously uh, presented in this meeting the mechanical portion. So the electrical had changed for this elevator just based off of uh, Otis winning the, the bid. So depending on what the elevator was originally designed for electrically, this had to be uh, changed just to support this elevator. So these were the costs associated with that. PCO number 64. Uh, due to some existing conditions on the roof with where the roof deck was and uh, the strength required to hold back the parapets on the roof level with the, the parapet framing, we had to add some angles in and that is the cost associated with that here. PCO number 65, we ended up laminating gypsum board to uh, two smaller walls in the C103 and 107. Those are the two south classrooms where the, the bump outs are. Uh, we added those to cover up some uh, exposed brick that was in those rooms that just wasn't in a good condition to leave behind. PCO number 66 is a contingency item for uh, some storage of some millwork just to accommodate our schedule. PCO number 67 uh, is for some extra sealing material that we had the uh, acoustic ceiling contractor provide us at the summer phase uh, to accommodate some of our temporary work and the rough-ins that we did in the uh, current occupied portions of the school. So 
we've been pulling from material for that for some time now. So this is just another contingency item to uh, make them whole on that. PCO number 68 is for ASI number 39. Uh, there's an edge of roof deck angle. This was at a location where a masonry wall was removed and the condition left of the roof deck at the conference room was insufficient to mount the uh, parapet framing too. So we had to add structural materials there for, for the carpenter to connect to. PCO number 70 is for an RFI 111. We had to add fire protection heads to meet code due to uh, some soffit height changes in two of the classroom, the north classroom of the ceiling. PCO 72 is, uh, it's, it's the second part of uh, courtyard excavations that we did because there was no room to run conduit within the building to feed the D-Wing electric room. So we had to uh, trench through the courtyard to do this. So there, the excavation portion of that was unowned and it's being taken as another contingency draw here. PCO number 73 is for temporary power distribution gear for the first phase um, because of just continuing industry issues with the electrical uh, supply chains. It's beyond the contractor's control at this point for what they can get for gear. And we have some temporary measures in place uh, being provided to distribute power for um, both of the, the 480 volt system and the 120 that the the, uh, the the 480 as well as the 120 240 systems. Um, the electrical contractor had to do that work just to get this first phase to turn over. And PCO number 74 is for RFI 90 for an existing expansion joint that um, we had questioned the what was required in the field. And through coordination with KBA, the decision was made to leave the existing expansion joints in place. So there is a credit here associated with leaving behind the expansion joints that are currently in place as they're in good shape. And we just had an ad for one that was an unknown that was discovered uh, after we took uh, control of the building and discovered one that wasn't on the drawings. So this uh, is a net credit to leave those four in place and replace the one. Any questions on any of these I can go into further detail on? Anybody have any questions for Rich? Yes, Jeremy. No, you don't have your hand up. That's my cursor. Sorry. Okay, then I entertain a motion that we approve PCO 34, 53, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 70, 72, 73, and 74. In the amount of forty-seven thousand six twenty-seven and fifty-seven cents. If somebody would move that, make a motion to approve. Thank you, Mike. And a second. Second. Seconded by Kim. Any further discussion or questions? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> And then next item is take action on invoices. Eileen or Lauren? I can share screen. <clears throat> we only have a couple, I think, right? Three of them? There were three, yep. Yeah. So we'll do them individually. <clears throat> So this is just a monthly invoice for um, Connect uh, Construction Service Group um, for their work this past month in the amount of $10,028.25. So I entertain a motion that we approve that for payment. Someone? So moved. Thank you, Kim. Second. Second, second. second by Amy. <clears throat> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Next one. So again, the monthly, <laughs> I believe just storage for the library books um, from Myers in the amount of, I can't read it. Two, is it two, I printed it, but. 65, 68. Okay, thank you, I can't read it. 
My eyes aren't that good. <clears throat> so I entertain a motion that we approve the Myers um, monthly invoice for storage for 255.68. Make a motion. Thank you, Mike. And a second? Second. Second by Kim. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. One more, right? Okay. So it's IES, which is our testing services. Um, are we approving? Let's see, what are we? It's bubbled for 54. Is that what we're that's, doing? That's just the reimbursable that I noted oh. for myself. Sorry. It's the total amount. So it's the total amount. Thousand. Okay. So an invoice uh, for a total amount of $1,253.06. Make a motion. Thank you, Mike. And a second. Second. Second by Amy. Thank you. No Any all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? The motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Um, there's one more, isn't there? We need to approve new fields. Is that not in there? The pay application eight is further down on the agenda. Oh, it's further down. Yep. Oh, I see it. I'm sorry. It's another business. Okay. Yep. You're right. Uh, next item is financial update. Okay, let me now share my, <laughs> let me share my screen. All right, so we're doing well with the budget. Uh, everyone can see, oh, honestly, we've just had a few changes in the invoices that have been charged for owner's rep services, or let's see, commissioning agent, KBA, those are our normal monthly invoices that come in. And then we had the monthly storage invoice for Myers. So as you can tell, we're still doing well. And then we'll be talking a little bit about FF&E later. Our total budget is 5,034,500. We're gonna be putting some purchase orders in against that. In technology, we have a purchase order in for this first phase as well. We are tracking well for owner contingency, even with the uh, change orders that have come in, we're currently at 1,483,439.68. So any- Any, any questions for Eileen? Again, yeah, we're still tracking pretty good it appears. Um, and this phase is winding down. I think everyone's going to be pretty excited when they see some of the pictures coming up from uh, Rich as he reports to us the progress that they made in a week. It's starting to starting to look like a school again instead of a construction site. Okay, thank you, Eileen. Thank you. I'll send it out to everyone. Yep. Uh, next item is architects update. Good afternoon, Jennifer. Or maybe almost good evening. It's still afternoon, I guess. <laughs> it's not six yet. Okay. How are you today? Okay. So um, we did review the application for payment and signed off on, oh, I'm not sharing already. Sorry, I forgot the last part of that share. Um, so we had reviewed that application for payment and um, all the PCOs that you had um, approved already this evening, those were approved and the typical going back and forth, asking questions, making any revisions, um, suggesting any revisions and receiving revisions from Newfield mm -hmm. um, where we thought they were warranted. 
Um, so we recommended approval for all those and had already signed off on them and those were in your packet. Uh, the same recent design activity that that we you know do for for these years <laughs> into you know until the project stops. So it continuously there's RFIs, there's a lot of project meetings, there's reviewing of construction activities, just in general, doing pre-installation meetings for, um, you know, it's been pretty exciting for windows going in now um, and flooring going down. So, you know, we're there checking out the beginning of that work and, um, you know, making sure that gets uh, started off um, as we anticipated in, in the design that they're following through with that and reviewing you know, reviewing that from time to time. Um, and we're also helping with the furniture package that Eileen's gonna be talking about um, a bit later so that uh, there can be purchase orders for furniture um, coming up in April and in the summer. Right. And that's it, if you have any questions. Okay. Anyone have any questions for Jennifer? Seeing none, we'll move on to owner's project manager update, Eileen. Okay. So it has, as Jennifer said, it's been very busy lately. Oops. There's a lot of activity happening. We're frequently at the site. Uh, today I was on site doing a move meeting uh, with uh, Jason and his team. So we'll get them moved on 227 over into their new space. And then the next meeting, you can really see the progress uh, once there's some pictures of furniture and people in their space. But things are really moving along. Uh, we've had several technology meetings too to get things right uh, for Anna Reynolds, for Director of IT, Craig Holland. And uh, Lou has jumped in to help as well. So things are going well moving along anyone have any questions for eileen okay thank you eileen i know it gets a little repetitive nobody has any <laughs> different information we got to share the information over again um construction managers update rich although everybody wants to see what you've got to tell us now i'm sure yep um so we've been like eileen said we've been working with um you know, the owner's IT working on getting everything situated how uh, he's expecting it so that Craig can come in with all of his uh, IT equipment and hit the ground running. So we've had a couple meetings with our telecom contractor to uh, make sure that we're all on the same page as to what we're providing here. Uh, we've also um, been testing our fire alarm devices. So the building uh, fire marshal was out yesterday and those were reviewed. He reviewed uh, the fire alarm system. We tested it at 7 a.m. yesterday. He also walked the emergency lights. So we were able to stimulate a power shutdown on the uh, building and, and activate the emergency lighting inverters. And he also reviewed exit sign locations. He had requested one additional exit sign We've since had that installed. Um, the building official and uh, fire marshal will be out again tomorrow and reviewing the above ceilings and above ceiling inspection will allow us to completely pad out the, the uh, acoustic ceilings. So we'll drop every pad in there. Uh, all goes well tomorrow. The plan would be on Saturday, everything is passed and everything gets uh, filled in in the ceilings. So. Uh, we are working through with those inspections and we have our final walkthrough scheduled for Thursday of next week with the building official for our uh, acceptance and his final blessing on allowing uh, students and staff to occupy. So we uh, we are continuing going through just with these finishes. Um, here you can see we are working in the, oh, not actually sharing the screen. Um, we had our final cleaners starting on site today. They were in the boiler room. They dusted this whole area down because this is where our new uh, heating equipment is. So they, they were working here. Um, we've also got the toilet accessories, the soap dispensers, the grab bars, uh, 
whatnot being installed in the toilet rooms today. So those were um, those are installed here. This is typical of all of the restrooms right now uh, as of the end of the day today. So you can see we do have all the tile is in. These rooms are all painted and the um, the accessories are going in. Um, this is in room C105, which is uh, one of the smaller rooms between the two south classrooms of C-Wing. You can see we do have our marker boards and tack boards in place. Um, flooring is installed. The, floor, the rubber base is down as well. So we do have our floor protection down, which is what the uh, the RAM board that you see on the ground is. Uh, all the seams are taped, protecting that before the final turnover. We also have um, our TV mounts are all installed and uh, are now awaiting owners to uh, IT to, to complete the the install there, which uh, we're is one of the things we are coordinating with Craig Holland as well. Uh, this is a uh, photo at the bottom of the ramp looking up at C-Wing. Um, you can see the, the rubber tile that is uh, on the ramp is uh, is a different surface than what's at the top or the bottom of the ramp for, for traction there. So up at, up at the top, we have a LVT tile that has a, a pattern I know Lou has seen. Um, Jennifer and Eileen are obviously aware of as well. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get any pictures of that with the floor protection down, but um, there's, I believe it's nine different LVT colors in there. So we have worked with Jennifer. She's done some field dimensioning out there and given a final layout to the flooring contractor. And he began on that this week. That install will be completed uh, the end of this week. So the, the rubber tiles working their way down the ramp as well. Uh, tack boards are in place and like I said, uh, we're going for the above ceiling inspection uh, tomorrow morning. So by the end of the day on Saturday, everything in these ceilings should be covered. All the ceiling pads should be dropped in. Uh, we do have all the millwork installed as well. This room, you can see the floor protection is down, covering up the finished VCT floors. They do have to come back and just install the rubber base around here as well as drop in the remaining ceiling pads after the above ceiling inspection is complete. The radiant panels are largely piped in through these classrooms, which is um, which will provide heat at the outsides of the building, essentially washing the, the windows for, for heat. Um, so that those are installed. We've also on the mechanical side have had all of our equipment startups between last week and this week. So all the equipment uh, had the factory reps out and they performed the necessary checks and startups. So we know that our, our controls are working. Uh, the commissioning agent was also out uh, yesterday as well for that last startup of the rooftop equipment. Uh, he had no issues. We'll be seeing a field report from him as well, but we do speak with him in the field and he didn't uh, notify us of any issues he saw with, with the equipment startup. So that is all running or able to be run now. We are still, we do still have our temporary uh, heating service in the building. Uh, here's the <laughs> teaching wall, one of the south classrooms. So again, this is, um, we have the uh, marker boards installed and the black mount in the middle is for the uh, owner provided 75 inch, I believe it's 75 inch LED TV that'll be mounted there. We've provided the rough end behind the TV uh, for data and power. And again, one, one of the things that we have coordinated with Craig Holland. So um, this room you can see has the floor protection down over the finished floor as well as the rubber base in. And we're going around doing final paint touch-ups through these rooms. And in the corridor, we have the uh, water fountains. Again, floor protection is down. These, uh, Wall tile is up, and the the um, yeah the floor tile in here we have the hard soffit ceiling above. So that was completed. That was previously inspected. Uh, you can see our lights are functional. So all of our temporary lighting has been removed. We are using the permanent lights now. Um, sprinklers are installed in the ceilings. We will liven that system up prior to the turnover. Um, we're working our way through the, the admin space. We'll be getting the carpet installed that is on site. Um, we're just working through the last 
uh, finished details here, getting last coats of paint on, getting uh, windows caulked, getting the precast caulked on the exterior, and the metal panel work is ongoing as well with all the flashings being installed. And um, when you do see the metal panel go in, the lar large part of that install is the flashing details. The metal panel portion of it will go fairly quick. So um, they are working through that as well. But we are still set for our final inspection with the town on Thursday of next week, week from today. Is there any questions? Anybody have any questions for Rich? I don't, but I think it looks it looks great even from the last two weeks ago when we were in there. The end does go, it, it does turn around pretty quick when you start yeah. getting the finishes in and putting putting protections down and almost turning around and walking away from it. We, you know, minimal comeback work if possible at that point. Okay. Um, thank you again, Rich, for all the hard work and everybody on your team. We do appreciate it. Pictures look great. Um, I can't, actually can't wait to get back up there and walk through it. Yeah, we've been we've been coordinating as well with Jason as most recently as this afternoon to make sure we're all on the same page as far as this turnover goes because there are some there's definitely coordination going on between our temporary walls and temporary classrooms. So we're making sure that he's well aware of that and you know, the teachers can be all coordinated around it. Yeah, I know we just we clean up one mess right and start right on the on the next That's next the goal. Yeah. So okay, uh, so we're gonna move on. Uh, our next item is any other business pertinent to the committee. We do have three items in here, and one is approved. Um, initiating a new purchase order for FF and E services. I believe that's what it's supposed to say. Um, Eileen. You're muted, Eileen. Unmute. All right. Let me share my screen here. Oh, why did it go over there? I don't know. Is it sharing? Yeah, it's in the center of my screen. Okay, great. Perfect. Sorry. I have to look over at the other screen. All right. So we have a total budget for furniture of... 5,034,500. Uh, our, our current costs are, it, it, I'm sorry, the current cost is 2,033,872.06. We have 150 that was previously approved by the committee. However, we need an additional amount. So I am looking for an additional 85K. And this is to cover the April phase, summer phase, and the tables for the cafeteria. Okay, so all we're really doing is pre-buying now, right? Yes. Okay. Right. Any questions for Eileen? So how are we going to have to do this here? Because we need uh, separate looking, POs, right? I, all I need, um, well, I'm doing the separate purchase orders through Lauren. I'm just looking to add another 85K to the previously approved amount by the committee for 150. Okay, so we just need a motion then I to approve an additional $85,000 um, for uh, FF&E, correct? That work? Please. Yes. Okay. So if someone could move that motion. Move to approve an additional $85,000 for FF&E. And a second. Second. Thank you, Kim, right? Thank you, Kim. Yeah. So now we have a total of two, yeah, $235,000 is what we're now appropriating into several different um, vendors to purchase this. So any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Thank you. Thank you. Um, next one is Newfields monthly pay rec. And I have that here. 
So it is their pay rack number. It double printed for me here. Eight. So eight, yeah, pay application number eight. And the amount of $913,472.51. So we need a motion to move that. Make a motion. Thank you, Mike, and a second. Second. Amy? Second by yeah. Amy, thank you. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Now, is there actually any other pertinent business to the committee other than our next meeting, which is uh, March 2nd. <clears throat> we'll mark your calendars for that. Anything else? Anybody have anything? Rich, Eileen, Jennifer, Lou? No? no? Lauren? No. Okay. Move on. Next item is public participation, which I think we have no one. Just double check. Where are we? Yep, zero. <clears throat> Comments by members, anyone? I just want to thank everybody for being here tonight. I appreciate it. And a motion to adjourn. Make a motion to adjourn. Thank you, Michael. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. Good night. Yeah. Thank you. Two weeks or three weeks, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Have a good night. Good night.